Tonight, the head of the CDC warns that the trajectory of COVID cases and hospitalizations in this country is moving in the wrong direction. We get more now from CBS's Carter Evans. Tonight, worries over another wave with COVID cases on the rise in nearly half the country as states reopen and students celebrate spring break. And we know from prior surges that if we don't control things now, there is a real potential for the epidemic curve to soar again. This comes as a new study at select college campuses will monitor vaccinated students and their close contacts. We'll be able to answer the very important question about whether vaccinated people get infected asymptomatically and if they do, do they transmit the infection to others. Rutgers University in New Jersey will now become the first known college to require students to be vaccinated before returning to campus in the fall. I think that's a great idea because we've had over the last year about half a million college students get infected and there's been about 100 deaths uh, linked to outbreaks on college campuses. More states are now expanding eligibility for the vaccine to all adults. The news that I think all of us have been waiting for, all Minnesotans age 16 and above will be eligible to receive their vaccines. 47 states and the District of Columbia say that'll happen by May 1st at the latest. Just three states, New York, Arkansas, and Wyoming, have yet to commit. And as the country waits for the pandemic to end, there are still hopeful moments to hold on to. 39-year-old Alfredo Hercules beat COVID after spending more than 70 days in a New York hospital, finally getting to hug his family. I haven't seen him in close to three months. Just happy and blessed to be home with my girls. Now, today they plan to vaccinate about 2,800 people at this location in Englewood, California. They're hoping to have enough vaccine next week to ramp up to their maximum capacity of 4,000 people. And they are going to need it because California is going to allow everyone 50 and older to get a shot starting on April 1st. Margaret? Carter Evans, thank you.